Okay, this is Jose Guadalupe Posada. This is uh, El Jamboree de El Tortumba, which I'm sure I'm butchering. But basically it means the folk dance of the undead. And in this piece uh, by Posada we see uh, some skeletons dancing around, having a party. Uh, doing some traditional folk dancing there, wearing their sombreros, drinking, eating, doing all the things that we know that skeletons don't necessarily do. Uh, you may notice as we look through some of these slides that um, a lot of his artwork is synonymous with um, or associated with the Mexican holiday Dia de los Muertos, which means Day of the Dead, which happens usually every uh, um, November 1st and 2nd. The first day is for the children that have passed and the second day is for the adults. So it's really a really fun uh, cultural experience if you ever get a chance. But um, let's look at some notes here. So Jose Guadalupe Posada, El Jamboree de Altro Tumba, 1910. It's a woodcut, like a lithograph, just like M.C. Escher's artwork was. And this will be found at the Posada Museum in uh, Aguas Calientes, which I believe means hot water in Mexico. And uh, some of the art elements that we see here are line, because he actually carves it out of a piece of wood. And, um, of course, you know, color, even though it's black and white, um, you can tell his style, or, or it's all sort of unified by the fact that it's all black and white, and it kind of adds an effect to it. And maybe a little bit of value, too, in that um, some of the images, even though they're cartoons, have some three-dimensionality to it. You see the shadows in the hats and on the skulls and on the feet and the bones and so forth. And even on this barrel right here, we could tell it's not, we could tell it's round because of the shadow that they use, so that would be value. So go ahead and take your notes here. Just in this piece I see, what is this artist trying to do, what, are you liked, what you liked or didn't like about it, and then another piece by this artist that we'll look at in just a moment. Okay, this is a, a photograph that I found on the internet of, of uh, Posada, uh, 1852 to 1913. It's kind of a bad photo. I believe it was from a newspaper. Uh, from the turn of the previous century. And, um, yeah, he was born in Mexico. He was educated by his brother, actually, who taught him how to read and write and also draw. And uh, that was sort of a springboard for his first career. He had a job as a political cartoonist. So he did a lot of uh, political cartoons and different things for a newspaper in Mexico uh, called The Bumblebee. And uh, the newspaper didn't last very long because it was sort of controversial, some of the things that he was drawing in them. Uh, his drawings uh, often offended local politicians and so forth, so uh, the newspaper went under, but of course he continued to do his illustrations, and um, later he taught, how to, he taught at, a, at a school how to do lithography, this type of artwork. Um, this is one of the political cartoons that he did of the president of Mexico at the time. This is actually supposed to be... Uh, uh, Francisco Madero, who was president of Mexico uh, from 1911 to 1913. He was sort of a revolutionary, uh, that president, and um, he helped to get Diaz, who was sort of a dictator of Mexico at the time, out. But um, Madero proved to be an ineffective leader. And Madero, I'm sorry, uh, Posada, the artist, is trying to show that uh, by showing the president, well, he's a skeleton in this piece, but he has this mustache, which everyone would recognize um, this as being their president because of the mustache. It's very specific. But it sh he shows him as kind of being a lazy drunk. Here we see a bottle of mezcal, perhaps, uh, which is sort of like tequila. And uh, wearing the sombrero and wearing some floho uh, sandals. So maybe just to show that he's sort of like a lazy dictator or lazy president. And... Um, yeah. Here's another piece. Um, and this one is very familiar with the Day of the Dead celebration. Here we see this skeleton woman wearing a very oversized hat. It's almost like a lampshade on her head. And here you can kind of see Posada's signature right there on this lithograph. Okay, this one's the Grand 
Calviera Electrica, so it's like the Grand Electric Skull, and this Grand Electric Skull is sort of uh, calling or beckoning to all these other skeletons and so forth. You can see with the lines in the eyes, he's sort of like using some sort of supernatural powers to to get them to listen to his uh, commands, perhaps. And here we see skeletons just all over the place, in the streetcar and around and so forth. And again, there's his signature right there. Um, these ones are sort of untitled. Maybe they were used in a newspaper or perhaps just for his own enjoyment or just for art's sake. Here we see like uh, a marriage proposal perhaps of uh, this peasant guy with this woman and he's down on one knee. So it's kind of funny too because, you know, skeletons, we don't really think of them as getting married or anything. Um, this is the revolution, so maybe this is supposed to be uh, uh, Zapata, uh, a revolutionary in Mexico. And um, what's interesting is, like, you know, we see the skeleton guy, but he's wearing all the clothes, and he's got a gun on his back, and he's holding a flag. And uh, his horse isn't quite a skeleton, but it has a little bit of skin on its skinny bones, but uh, kind of interesting. Here's another revolutionary, maybe Pancho Villa or someone to that effect. And here we see, you know, peasant people sort of cheering for him as he's riding through the town with his guns and so forth. Don Quixote, which is a it's a Spanish classic uh, novel about the exploits of this gentleman, Don Quixote, who rides around on his donkey. And here we see Don Quixote riding through, attacking these different men, or skeletons in this case. And this one's untitled too, but I always imagine this is like the marriage of, you know, this couple or something. So here's the proposal, and then maybe perhaps this is the marriage. And that is all for Jose Guadalupe Posada.